Hi, dear students. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is very important topic. It covers all aspects of life. That is constitution, kinds of constitution and constitutionalism. Constitution may be defined as a collection of written or unwritten principles according to which the powers of government, the rights of govern, and the relations between the two are adjusted. It is collection of legal and non-legal rules which establish and regulate the system of state. According to Gilchrist, the constitution of a state is that body of rules and laws, written or unwritten, which determines the organization of government and general principles on which these powers are to be exercised. Constitution describes the whole system of state, how to regulate, whom to regulate, how to deal with other pillars and states of the world. It defines the rights and obligation of the people without discrimination. A constitution is to be adaptable to the changing needs of the country, otherwise development of country is hampered. A state without a constitution is inconceivable. In the past, the states were ruled by the wishes of an individual or military dictators, but in modern era, states are ruled by the established rules and principles and these rules are known as constitution. Following the establishment of United Nations system, states have developed and changed from absolute to democratic rules and values. The human security had, has assumed importance and world as a whole stand for the protection of these rules. No any Dictator can withstand the onslaught of world public opinion. Even dictators in communist countries could not stand against these pressures. The military takeover in the former USSR and other countries has to leave and face the race of people. Now, the types of constitution. Number one, written. A written constitution is one which has been comprehensively deliberated, deliberately and form, uh, deliberated and formulated by a convention or constituent assembly. Number two, unwritten constitution is a product of history and is result of an evolution exists in the form of customs, usage and practices. It is called a child of accidents. Number three, rigid. A rigid constitution is definite and stable. It enjoys higher status than ordinary laws of the land. The process of amending it is to great extent difficult. It is severe of people's right, not a plain thing of political parties, enjoys confidence of people and essential for successful working of a federation. Number four, flexible. Flexible constitution is one which can be easily changed by an ordinary process. It is an elastic constitution. British Britain is the solitary example of such type of constitution. It is not much in practice nowadays. It is easily changeable and adaptable. Requisites are necessary conditions of a good constitution. A good constitution must be definite, precise, devoid of ambiguities, comprehensive, covering the whole system, partly rigid and partly flexible. The best constitution is one which combines both the element of rigidity and flexibility. It should make adequate provision for the protection of individual liberty and rights. A good constitution 
should cater to social, political and economic needs of people. Now, what is constitutionalism? The, the term constitutionalism occupies an important place in national politics of any state. Constitutionalism connotes a desire of people for a political system governed by the prevalent laws and rules. It stands for the supremacy of law and not, for, not of the individuals. It imbibes the principles of nationalism, democracy and limited government. It provides a system of effective restraints upon governmental action. It is body of rules ensuring fair play, thus rendering the government responsible. Constitutionalism stands for a system having division of powers and an arrangement of check and balances so that government may not abuse the power and remains according or remains responsible. It has changed from time to time and according to the needs of changing circumstances. Now, Aristotle's classification of government. Number one, one, number of ruler is one, which is based on law, is called monarchy. Monarchy means ruled by one king. And perverted form of government are not under or based on law is tyranny or dictatorship. Number two, a few means aristocracy, no, nobility, elite class ruling for the general interest and its perverted or bad form is oligarchy ruled by few people for their interest at the cost of people. Number three, many. Uh, according to Aristotle, the polity is the best form. In his opinion, polity was the best form and democracy was its perverted form. But nowadays, democracy is the best form of government. Okay, wish you good luck.